Well, I'd like to start off by thanking Roy at Recipes with Roy for asking me to be part of this collab. Thank you for inviting me, Roy. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> the name of this collab is Life is Like a Box of Chocolates. I was trying to find something that was sort of Weight Watcher friendly. I found this recipe. It's only four ingredients. Um, please check out the description box down below to see what other uh, channels are offering for their suggestions for some sweets for chocolates. So um, let me turn you around and show you the ingredients and we will get started. Okay, the recipe calls for unsalted butter. I only have salted butter, so I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. But it's three tablespoons of softened butter, a half a cup of peanut butter, whatever peanut butter is your choice, we use Jeff, a cup of powdered or confectionery sugar, they're both exactly the same, so whatever you have would be fine, and one cup of your chocolate morsels. Obviously, if you wanna bring the recipe down a little bit more, you can use the Lily chocolates. I had these in the cupboard, so that's what we're gonna use. Uh, everything I'm using is something I found in my pantry. I didn't have to go and buy anything extra. Uh, you're gonna need a bowl and um, a, a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. And I am gonna to try to do it with a melon scoop, but I think I'm gonna end up doing it by hand because uh, I don't have much luck with things like that. So uh, let's turn you around and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're gonna add is our sugar. And then our butter. And last but not least is our peanut butter. And this is going to be difficult, I think, to mix together. I don't know if I should have used a whisk rather than this spatula, but we will see. So we just want to combine this until it's all combined together. They say it takes two to three minutes. I um, am not one of those people that is capable to fast forward on my editing. So let's talk. <laughs> um I am not a big fan of chocolate and peanut butter together, although Jim does love this. I have to still figure out the points, how it's going to be. I think I might have, next time if I do this again, I would think I would melt the um, sugar a little bit, the, not the sugar, the butter, because it's been sitting out on the, the counter overnight to get softened. And as you can see, it's not working really well. So let me take the butter out and just give it a quick little melt in the microwave. And I will be right back. Okay, I put it in the microwave for about 12 minutes. 12, 12 minutes, 12 seconds. 12 minutes, it'd be all melted for sure. Well, that makes it a little bit easier to work with now. So we're going to just combine this now and let's see what we get. Um, I was going to scoop it out with my melon scooper and I forgot I lent it to my daughter and I don't have it back so I think it might just be easier for me anyhow just to roll it with my hands. So um, that's the plan, Stan. So as we're going along here I think I'm just going to use my hands to kind of mix it together now. My hands are clean. You want to make sure you wash your hands before you make anything in the kitchen. Learned that very early on. It's very sticky. I probably should have put some flour on my hands, but as we're learning this together, we'll see how it goes. This is why I don't do very many cook with me's because if you've watched me do cook with me's, you see that most of them are disasters <laughs> because that's just who I am but I have fun doing them and that's really all that matters is, is that you have fun so we want to make sure we get all the peanut butter in here and just roll it together as much as you can like a doughy con consistency and then we're just going to make them into we're going to try to make them into little balls. How does that sound? 
Well, that doesn't too bad. So, I'm not going to bore you with me rolling all of these balls. So, I will be back. Um, well, after I get done and I'll show you the next step. How about, how's that sound? Okay, I actually switched them over to this dish because it only makes 12, which is fine. There's only two of us. But if you can get these parchment papers, um, I get them from my cousin Lynn who lives in Toronto. <laughs> she brings them to me. I'm sure I could get them on um, Amazon or something, but they don't sell them anywhere in my area. But I love them because they fit perfectly in a pie dish. So we're going to put these in the freezer for uh, 20 minutes. Okay, I put the chocolates in the microwave. Uh, I put it in for uh, 30 seconds and then gave it a stir, then another 30 seconds and gave it a stir, and then a final 30 seconds. Did I say 30 minutes? 30 seconds. 30 seconds each time. So what we want to do is we want to take a chocolate ball, dip it in the chocolate, completely coat it, then take it out, and set it on the plate and then we move on to the next one there's a little bit of chocolate on it let's stay in the frame here take it out put it on the plate okay I'm not gonna show you every single one but um uh, we're gonna do all of the ones put the chocolate on all of them we're gonna put them in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and then we will do a taste test and there is the finished product. I sat it in the refrigerator for 12 min or 20 minutes. So let me turn you around and we'll do a little bit of a taste test and we'll see how it tastes. Okay, once again, I'd like to thank Roy over at Recipes from Roy, Recipes with Roy for inviting me in part of the collab. Check down below in the description box to see um, everybody else that's involved. At the end of the video, I'll show you the recipe. When I looked up the recipe, I went under Weight Watchers peanut butter balls and these came up as four points each for 12. Um, I put them in so my- So four times 12. Is 48. <laughs> so anyway, well don't get too excited about it though, because I went and put it in my tracker just to double check and they equal out to 12 points. So then I went back to the Weight Watchers site to see where it was to see if I looked at it wrong. And that site has been removed by Weight Watchers. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> These are 12 points, but I'm going to taste a little one. I'm sure Jim's going to go for one of the bigger ones, but. Actually, I was going to take a small one, but I'll. But he'll you... suffer. He'll suffer along. Here's what they look like. Actually, they're really good. What do you think? Why, gonna... why wouldn't they be good? You shouldn't talk with food in your mouth. It's not polite. You are. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you, Roy, for inviting us. These are very good. Um, they're 12 points, but they're very filling. Worth every point. Yeah, but I think they're very filling. You could get away with eating one. You could. <laughs> I will. So, okay, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.